Hey y'all, it's me, Heavenly, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey, you're gonna love it here. And if you are returning, what's up? As you can see by the title, this is a her tutorial on how to achieve this flip over method quick weave. This is my first time doing the flip over method and my first time doing a quick weave with curly hair. A flip over method is basically where you can flip the hair side to side. I got two 16 inch bundles. I kind of wish I would have got three, but I mean two is fine because this is just a quick hairstyle. Um, just to let you all know, this is how I like to do my quick weaves. I don't know how you like to do your quick weaves or the correct way to do quick weaves, but this is how I do it. And yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all. Uh, first things first, we're going to take this bonnet off. Oh, oh wow. No, nah, I'm just playing. But as you can see, I did some braids to the back. And I left a section out in the front for my leave out. Before I start, I like to oil my scalp. Oh, and by the way, if you see me looking down or straight ahead, I'm either watching YouTube or looking in the mirror. For this quick weave, I will be using a black wig cap. Only one. I know that some people like to use two, but I only like to use the one. I really wanted to use a protective bond, but I don't have that. So instead I use got to be spray. So I started to spray the got to be spray on my cap. You kind of want to do a lot so that you can protect your hair from the glue. Then blow dry it until it's dry. Clearly I got time because I was blow drying that small little piece for so long. Also, I eventually realized that I didn't need to pull my cap over my ears. Now I am spraying my whole head with the got to be spray and drying it with my blow dryer. To be honest, I could have used more got to be spray, but hey, it's cool. So now let's pull out these bundles. I got two 16 inch bundles. I really wish I would have got three, but you gotta work with what you got. I believe that this is the Italian wave texture. It's not as tight as deep wave, but it still got a little curl to it. So I started off by measuring each track on my head before cutting it. Once I got my measurement, I grabbed my scissors and cut it. When doing quick weaves, just get a fresh bottle of glue. 
between the two bottles of glue that I had, they were both dried up at the top. So I had to open a glue bottle and use the end of a comb to apply the glue on the track. Eventually I found an easier way to apply the glue on the track, but regardless, this still took up a lot of time. Applying glue on this first track literally took up so much time. Ten years later, I finally got the glue on the track. As you can see, I'm placing the track in the back of my head and pushing it down. I'm pushing down firmly because I need it to stay put. I do not want no track slipping. And to seal the deal, I get my blow dryer and dry the tracks. I feel like this is one of the most important steps. After laying down each track, you wanna make sure that you dry it with the blow dryer. You want to repeat this process until you get to the top of your head. I did two pieces and I'm already excited. Girl, calm down. I was only able to cover half of my head with the first bundle. Now we're moving on to the second. I'm gonna cut them plastic things off and repeat the same process. So far, it's been one hour. I had to take a quick little snack break because, honey, I was hungry and I was tired and my back was hurting at this point. This quick weave took me about two and a half, three hours because I took so many breaks. And I was distracted by YouTube moving slow.
so this is all I had left from the second bundle and at that point I started to panic I ordered this hair online and it took about a week to come I was not ordering another bundle I was trying to figure out exactly where I was gonna place the rest of the tracks with the little amount of hair that I had But of course, I eventually figured it out because I had no choice. Once I got to the very top of my head, I placed a few tracks straight across. Here I am once again changing the direction on how I am placing the tracks. It's important to place your tracks leaning in one direction because this is what's going to give you that flip over look. As you can see, I'm cutting it into small pieces just for that front area. I took one of the tracks up because I wanted more tracks to fall on the other side, giving it a deeper flip type of look, if that makes sense. Because as you can see, it's more at the top of my hair right now, and I want it to be more on the side. I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah. Sometimes it's hard for me to explain things, child. You're just going to have to watch and see. Here I am once again lifting up another track so that I can flip it to the other side. You want to keep adding tracks to either direction until both ends meet. So I made it work with the two bundles that I had. This is how it's looking, all glued in. It looks a little thin, but once I fluff it out, it'll be okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I cut the cap off, but that's the easy part. Now I am taking my braid down, getting ready to straighten my leave out. I'm gonna use my heat protection spray and use my small pink flat iron and get them edges together. Get the front of my leave out together, honey. I made sure to get the roots good because I really want my leave out to blend well with the weave.
Now I have started using my wand to curl my leave out. I'm honestly not sure what size this wand is, but the smaller, the better. If you really want your curls to stay, get you some flexi rods and flexi rod your hair right before you go to sleep. As you can see, I'm using small pieces for a tighter curl so it can blend better with the weave. I'm making sure that I'm wrapping my hair around tight because I don't need these flexi rods coming off while I'm sleeping. Okay, so now I am finally done taking these clips out. Don't forget to use some type of holding spray to lock those curls in. Make sure you do this before you go to sleep. Here I am with the blow dryer once again, making sure those curls are locked in. So this is what it's looking like before I go to bed. I tied it up with a big scarf, put my bonnet on, and yeah. This is the next morning. I'm not gonna lie, it was very uncomfortable sleeping with those flexi rides, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I got straight to it and took each and every Flexi ride out. As you can see, those curls are tight, exactly how I wanted them. So this is what it's looking like straight out of the flexi rides. Now let's move on to doing my baby hair. Although I could flip my hair to either side, I wanted to focus more on the baby hairs that were on the left side. Also, please ignore the tracks that are showing. Once I fluff my hair out, you won't be able to see them. I went over it again with the flat iron because that's what's gonna help it lay better. And I curled my sideburns. 
When doing my baby hairs, I only like to do two swoops on each side. I also like to use an old toothbrush instead of a comb or anything else. Right now, I'm just shaping my baby hairs to see how I would want it to look before adding the edge control. I will be using Edge Booster to lay my edges. And since I've already shaped my edges, it won't take me long at all to add the edge control and get it done. This is my favorite part, swoop, swoop. I'm getting it together, honey, don't play. Now that my edges are done, I will be using my slick stick to slick down my leave out. This is really gonna give it that clean, sleek look, but you don't wanna use too much. Like I said, I was only focused on the baby hairs on one side and not the other. Now I'm tying a bandana around my edges so that they can dry while I do my makeup. Now that my makeup is done, I wanted to cut the hair shorter just because I didn't like it as long as it was. To be honest, I didn't cut much off, but I felt like it made a difference. Now I'm cutting layers into the hair to give it more volume because it does look a little thin because I only had two bundles. One thing about me, I love short hair and I love layers. So I was just cutting away. Now that my hair is shaped up, I began to separate the curls. You could use a wide tooth comb, but I was being lazy and didn't feel like getting up to get mine. Now I'm separating the curls on the other side. Now 
Then boom. A moment of truth. You see it? You see it. I ain't even got the last two flexi rides out, but it's already hidden for some. I know that's right. And this is what it's giving. I'm not doing much to it right now. Just playing around with it, trying to feel for it. You know, when you get a new style, you like, like, do I really like this? I'm literally in a rush right now. I'm on my way to leave out the house to go somewhere. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even film my YouTube intro or outro. Let me do it right now. So that's just what it's giving. I hope you all enjoyed this her tutorial. Once again, this is my first time doing this. I hope I was able to help you out, give you some tips. So my strategy was simple and easy. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. That's it for today, folks. Let's, let's wrap it up.